All right, welcome back to episode three. Last episode, we had that bullshit race. That was a nightmare. Now I'm walking Sarah to her apartment. I don't need Easy enough. Home. We're talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. How you doing? Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Heading this way? This is her apartment? Oh, no, this... Maybe? Could you knock on the door? I guess. Oh, so many hands here. For me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. What does she say? Right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Don't ever say that shit again. Yeah, she's right. They do. I don't want to be known for that dumbass race. Well, okay. Anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. Strike against low wages. Okay. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well. It's uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. I guess nothing to talk about. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. It is a very nice time to walk. Flowers for the ladies. Oh, uh, no. I'm good. Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? Oh, my God. <laughs> Woman, am I right? Then you get the flowers. Yeah, that oh. could happen. If Pop's not going to stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Oh, Tommy's a stud. I could see him wanting. Or I could see Pop. creeps to me for weeks. Or Luigi. But I didn't tell you as I know you see Luigi like. letting her date him. I mentioned it to dad this one time and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. She's probably gonna die. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh. oh. Hey there, darling. Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble. You got a boyfriend, you loser. Tried to steal our girl, chief. You saps aren't careful. The fuck are you guys? <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> Then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Cake eater. What does that even mean? How do I punch these guys? OB, that's right. It's been a minute since we actually had a fight. Get away from me. Twist like you This is going off a lot smoother than I thought it would. Oh, 
Oh, hello, you got a knife? That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, you thought? Okay. I didn't even get hit once. You guys are a bunch of losers. You're trash. You're gonna be as easy as the rest of these guys. <laughs> That's what I got, you son of a bitch. Bunch of weaklings. Oh, that was a badass moment. You got a good right hook. I'll give you that. You're bleeding. From I'll what? I'll take a look. What am I bleeding from? I didn't even get hit. Oh, probably from getting pushed through a fence. Oh, no. Well, you're going to come in and take a load off or what? Sorry, I'm just so nervous to hang out with girls. Bite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up as well. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. I had to get... I had to get stitches? I'm fine. Oh, never mind. Offense did that? Bad. That's insane. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. A kiss would be that. nice. No, I'm what? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Oh. That might help. Since they don't have numbing shots or some shit. That's gotta hurt. Take another. <sighs> All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. You would gotta scream as loud as that possible. the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. I would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but. Surprised he got through that old. so well. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Dude, get stitches socks. I don't know how he's handling yeah, okay. that. You got an extra blanket or something? I'm the blanket. Right. And the heat's out. Oh, that's sad. Did I miss something between these two? I thought... I swear to God, I've only talked to her like once, but maybe something happened the past two years of this game. I don't know. That was a that was a nice mission after that dumbass mission, so it's pretty good. Better get used to it. This can't stand. But Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. What are we talking about? We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. 
But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. God, the idea of gangs and mafias is just ridiculous. Be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Fun fact, uh, my uncle is actually in the Mafia. They have a movie about him too, it's pretty cool. I watched it. Hey, hey. here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horseshit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. God, if only they know how or what Babe Ruth kind of turns out to be. That those bats must be worth a fortune in the future. Oh wait. Oh yeah, garage. Can I skip this drive? Yes. Is it just me or is the audio kind of like cutting out? Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the things. Biff, you fat bastard. How you doing? Chut mouth, no chin. They tell all day tea. Starface, great to see ya. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. No longer fight time. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a boozer with a bald head. Right, right. I know him. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I knew to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. Ten floor. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. You're fine, Polly. Shoot. Well, that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. We getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. 
Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. You good? Let me just walk, Polly. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating. I do the same. No shooters. You it's gonna turn into a shooting. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. If they don't pull out guns while we have baseball bats, that's kind of on them. They're stupid for that. I'll just kick it, I guess. I'm telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. Yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Come get it! Guys, get I'll make get it him, quick! Jesus! Jesus! Oh. I'm supposed to be bashing their faces in. What's going on here? I do like these animations. can't run that much faster. Oh, there's the guns. You think I need talent? I go north, you go south. What? I go up, you go through there. Nice. It's actually not a whole lot of gun action. So it is kind of cool to see. Always with the red barrels. <laughs> Always. That's cool. Oh, that was worth shooting, actually. Kick the door. Oh my god, I'm almost out of ammo with this pistol. Might as well shoot that one too, there you go. That was bad. Cool. Clear path to Billy Tom. We get to that pump for all the other pumps. I'm on the way. I'm not putting it out. Whoa. Can I pick it up and not? Okay, good. I thought it was gonna make you drop the uh, the pistol. Oh, what's... There we go. Switch pistol. Switch my pistol. Yep, there we go. Tommy, look out! Oh! Come on, we can't lose them! 
I'm trying. I'm not gonna let the punks escape. Oh my god, this vehicle sucks too. I don't remember the Mafia 2 vehicles being this shitty. But maybe that's because, if I remember correctly, it's more in the future. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Of course. Come on, come on, we can't let him get away. I know. These guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? I'm sure they already regret it. They got back up! Gotta reload! I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to catch up to him. It's just going to be a scripted event. Come on, come on. We can't let him get away. Dumb yep. son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. I'm out. But this one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah, I just, uh... Hey, let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Okay, what's next? Went through, what, two missions so far? How did I forget the saint in the center? Let's see. 1932 still. Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the corner in this office sent this over. Corpse's name is Joe Otti. You recognize him? Sure. Uh, that's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but... He was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. 
We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? If yes. Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They never make us look That makes sense. More. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Take care of her. Blow the fucking yeah. place up. Tom. I got it, boss. And get it done. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Yep, absolutely. I'll just put that in my suit jacket. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. What's the problem, Sam? Don't go any place yet. Got to hear me out on this. It's about the girl, Michelle. Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Okay, so I guess we're gonna make her leave. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Oh, never mind. I'm not supposed to hop out. No, I'm okay. good. Hey, handsome. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ugh, fine. Get out of the way. Can I help you? I need a 
talk with the manager. You with our new associates. He's in the lounge. Head through the bar. You can't miss it. Head through the bar. This way? Hey, good afternoon, this. sir. Oh, no, never mind. Not this one. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. And the okay, can I walk away from this guy? <laughs> He's about to make me angry. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family be long and fruitful. You must be the manager. Don Celieri sends his regards. Well, that, that kicked off a lot of shit. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oops, let's reload. Let's hurt some people. You weren't even showing up on the map. I thought you were an I thought you were just some neutral person. Oh, come on. Why are you blind firing so much, loser? Real quick, I'm gonna head in here. Get out of the way. Get a better shot. Go. I didn't know who to shoot at first. If I could just. One shot these guys to the head like everybody, then I could save a lot of ammo. So they are upstairs. I'm assuming that's where I'm gonna have to go again. Ow. How'd you get there? Come on. Come on out. I'm ready. Is it pointing to whatever this is? The shell room 208. Actually, hold on. In here. Yeah, there we go. And I just want to grab this collectible while it's just right here. No need for it. I mean, an achievement, that's cool. Room 208. Hello. You, Michelle? What's it to you? Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. 
works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping ghosts with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Just don't come back and we're square. Cool. Assuming we're gonna have to fight our way out. But, uh, I'll have this, this... Man, this guy's really running with a shotgun like this. Pretty Over good. Here. Oh, I hear that shotgun. Where you going, buddy? Oh. That was satisfying. Let's find this... This, uh, med kit. Not dead yet? What the fuck? Let's hurry up and move. safe so far. Um, okay, it just says that they're gonna listen to whatever shit we tell them to, or they're gonna eavesdrop on our ass pretty much. Termination of the agreement, okay. Damn it. 
Of course, we gotta deal with the cops. Jesus. <laughs> well, that solves it. What? Suspect is escaping over the rooftops. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Oops. Thinking it's watchdogs. Let me get my gun out just in case. Uh-uh. Not on my watch. Jesus, man. I'll take this then. No, you're down there, buddy. Damn it. Come out of hiding. Boom. I keep pressing B because I think it's watchdogs. I hate that. What other game do you get to parkour this much in? I need to grab that other... That bolt action ammo. Oh, hello. I ain't letting you hurt me. Where am I heading? This way? Yeah. Wait a minute. Dime Detective Magazine, nice. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Dude, just hop over it. It's not that long. Kind of is, actually. I could not trust the ladder like that. Of course. Escape through the church. This is where that funeral is taking place, huh? No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving The guy looks pretty good. A protective brother. And the embalmers did a great job with that. Virtues, Is it the embalmers that do that? I don't know. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... 
just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but I consider you my brother. This is the guy we gotta take out. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. <laughs> Cool. Good thing I have this other thing. He's not dead? He should be, right? Is that a guy? Damn, that guy is... He's just sleeping. What a weirdo. He looks good, though. For being shot in the head and shit. Actually, he didn't have much damage to his face. It's easy when you aim for the head. It makes this game 400 times easier. Oh, are you shitting me? Where is he at? Shut up. Is this guy just gonna run the whole time? Die. Boom. One tap. What have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? I don't think None any of, of us, them would. Father. Oh. You I shot this guy in the head. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. I literally no wouldn't have him. Please. I'm sorry, Father. Consider this an act of divine retribution. That make us even. Yeah. Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. When the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? Yeah. I, won't I understand. Lie. Oh. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? That sucks for that guy to witness all this. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Let me add that last round. There's no end to this. Four of Peruge are around the church, boys. Don't let them out. How do I? In the hearse, let's go. Are you kidding? Oh, first aid. Okay, I'm running for the purse. 
What the god damn it? I forgot it's not why. Get in, Sam. Are you in? I don't know. Get the fuck in! So no there's another dead body in the back of this. Why? I get what you're saying, because this is a hearse. If we die, we'll be in one too. <laughs> Funny. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy. But I Not funny is trying to escape everything. driving this dog shit. Everything. So just straight up ramming my ass. Feels like it. It's probably because I killed a few cops. Oh, this is gonna be great. Bye bye. Come on, Tommy, lose them. I'm trying. Dude, I'm hurt so bad right now. Oh my god, no. Oh, damn it. I'm not escaping these guys. I'm driving through the bushes. Nope, stupid. I am so screwed. I'll try not to bring the cops with me, but I can't can't really stop it sometimes. Get the fuck out of the way, everybody! Dude. I'll just hop over this again, I guess. Watch these guys show up again. Stop shooting. Dude, Sing does not drive fast enough. Of course they took a left. Dude, and they're driving full fucking speed. How am I supposed to fucking escape? Am I gonna lose? No, there's a cop right there. He just spawned there. Need to lose this run a little. Okay, we lost them. They're not gonna rest. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. They're not gonna try and stop me if I pass by them again, are they? Oh, I can skip the drive. What the fuck? Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, 
Christ. It's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. This guy sounds like, uh, what's his name from House Party. Never thought I'd make a reference between those two. But, um... <clears throat> 1938, so... We just went like six years ahead. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know I could take you in right now, put your behind bars, tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Murillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year, until Frank, Coletti, uh, Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Don. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with it, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show, or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. Damn. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? You made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. A career. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Thanks, Pa. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? Oh, we still have him. <laughs> the Don tried to drown her. Oh. 
I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Makes me dislike the dawn. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Nineteen thirty three. Okay, never mind. We only went one year. Nineteen thirty six is when we talked to the detective. Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Okay. This is where I'm gonna end it this episode, so I will see you in the next episode. Bye.